Hello everyone, I welcome you all in the third lecture on topic percentages where we are going to learn another important concept which is really crucial in the problems involving percentage calculations. That is how to write multiplication factor for a given percentage operation. So that's the agenda for today. Let's move forward. So let us start with multiplication factor now. Again, it's a very important concept as far as uh, percentage uh, calculations are concerned. And therefore, uh, I would advise you to understand this concept thoroughly. Because in coming videos, you would see application of this concept in many questions. So let's start with multiplication factor. Now to understand this concept, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to present three cases. In the three cases, I'll show you three basic operations of percentage. So let's begin with the first case. And in case one, let's try to find out 40% uh, of a number. Now, how do we calculate 40% of a number? You would say, sir, agar mujhe number ka 40% nikalna hai, to main number ko 40 by 100 se multiply kar dunga. So, fir multiplication factor kya hai ismein? Tum bologe, sir, jis factor ko humne multiply kiya, jis factor ko humne multiply kiya, that factor is called as multiplication factor. Simple. Another thing which I want you to realize that the same multiplication factor can be represented in some other form, in decimal form as well. So if I convert this 40 by 100, please focus here. So if I ask you to write down 40 by 100 in decimal form, so how would you convert it? Just, just place uh, decimal after two digits. In denominator, just place decimal after two digits. And then I'm going to do the same thing with numerator value. And then the same thing can be represented as 0 0.4. So if I have to represent this 40 by 100 in some other form, in decimal form, I can represent this as 0 0.4. And in both the cases, I'll get same answer. So don't get confused that which one is better. Both are same thing. So there is no such, you know, hard and fast rule that you have to represent multiplication factor in the fractional form or in decimal form. You can choose whatever suits you. Okay. Uh, after this, it's time to discuss the second operation. In the second operation, let's call it case 2. Uh, this time, let us increase the same number by 40%. Since I want to increase it, I'm using a positive sign. This time, we are trying to increase a number by 40%. So, if we increase the number by 40%, increase the number by 40%, then we will number ka 40% calculate the number और फिर इस इस रिजल्ट को हम ऐड कर देंगे ओरिजिनल वैल्यू पे और ओरिजिनल नंबर क्या था ओरिजिनल नंबर था n और इस तरीके से हम किसी नंबर को 40% से इंक्रीस करते हैं नो दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच मोस्ट ऑफ अस आर ऑलरेडी अवेयर अबाउट बट व्हाट आई वांट यू टू फोकस ऑन इफ यू लुक एट दिस एक्सप्रेशन केयरफुली इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन देयर आर टू टर्म्स वन टर्म इज n एंड अनदर टर्म इज n 40 by 100 if I ask you, is there anything common in between these two terms? You would say, yes, sir, n is common. So what, what, what I'm going to do, let's, I'm going to take n outside. I'm going to take n as a common factor. So inside, I'll be left with 1 plus 40 by 100. Yes, so when you simplify this, let's take 100 as the LCM. This can be written as 100 plus 40 by 100. That is nothing but 140 by 100. 140 by now the thing which I want you to focus on that when I'm increasing a number by 40%, a direct way of increasing a number by 40% could be multiply that number by 140 by 100. So instead of first calculating 40% of the number or fir usko hum original value pe plus kare, a better approach could be ki main us number ko directly 140 by 100 se multiply kar dun aur same resultant aayega. Here. Before I conclude this, let me present third case as well. In the third case, let us try to reduce a number by 40% this time. Since I am trying to reduce it, that's why I have used a negative sign. Let's try to reduce the same number by 40%. Tum bologe, sir, bas ek simple sa change aayega. Everything would remain same. Again, I am going to calculate 40% of the number. But this time, I am going to subtract this result from number n. This is how we subtract, right? Simple thing. Again, I can take n outside. So inside, I'll be left with 1 minus 40 by 100. Let's simplify this thing again. 
take 100 as the LCM, so 100 minus 40 by 100, which is nothing but 60 by 100. So what is the multiplication factor? When I'm reducing a number by 40%, multiplication factor is 60 by 100. So let me conclude this thing to you now. Whenever we are trying to increase or decrease a number by certain percentage value, let's say that certain percentage value is A percent. The generalization could be, yes, a general formula could be that either add or subtract that percentage value to 100 and that is going to be the multiplication factor. Let us try to relate to the statement using the two cases. So case number two may what we were trying to do, we are trying to increase a number by 40 percent. So agar main number ko 40 percent se increase karunga, so as per this generalization, mujhe kya karna chahiye? Mujhe 100 mein 40 ko add karna chahiye. Kyu? Kyunki main number ko 40 percent se increase kar raun. Aur jaise hi main ye karunga, to mere saamne kya value nikal ke aayega? 140 percent. So what is the multiplication factor when I'm increasing a number by 40%? You would say 140%. 140% is same as writing 140 by 100. Same. While, while in case of decrease, the only change is going to be that I'm going to reduce or I'm going to subtract this value from 100. Or jaise hi mein karunga, I'll come up with multiplication factor 60 by 100. Same what we saw in case number 3. Look at here, 60 by 100. So from now on, whenever I see a percentage problem involving any one of the three operations, I can use these multiplication factors accordingly. Now the next thing which I want you to understand here is, agar mere paas jo percentage value hai, wo whole number pe na deke, if they give you a decimal percentage value, what to do then? So let me again discuss these three cases but using a decimal percentage value. Let's pick, uh, so using this value I am going to perform again the three operations. So let us first calculate 16.66% of a number. You will say, sir, if you have number ka 16.66% calculate a number, then I will multiply that number ko 16.66 upon 100. Se multiply kar dunga. I am able to write down the expression but when it comes to do the calculation, multiplying a number with 16.66 is not an easy task and therefore it is not a feasible way of writing multiplication factor. So, jab bhi ab mere paas, humko kya samajhna hai, ab se jab bhi mere paas aisa percentage value aayega jo decimal mein likha gaya hai, aisi percentages ko hum kya karte hai, aisi percentages ko hum convert karte hai fractions mein. और हमने फर्स्ट लेक्चर में समझा है कि 16.66% का फ्रैक्शनल वैल्यू क्या होता है सो so, 16.66% इज सेम एज कैलकुलेटिंग 1/6 ऑफ अ नंबर एंड एनी गिवन डे कैलकुलेटिंग 1/6 ऑफ अ नंबर इज मच बेटर देन कैलकुलेटिंग दिस सो व्हाट इज द मल्टीप्लिकेशन फैक्टर व्हाइल आई एम कैलकुलेटिंग 16.66% ऑफ अ नंबर यू वुड से सर इट इज 1/6 लेट अस डिस्कस अनदर केस now in the second case, I am going to increase, increase the number by the same percentage, 16.66%. So, you will say, sir, what we have learned, what we have last time concluded, if I use it, because I want to increase the number from 16.66%, so I will add it to the base value 100%. And whatever comes, it will be the answer of my multiplication factor. But again, if you realize, if I add these two numbers, I'll get what? I'll get 116.66%, which is again not a conducive value for the percentage calculation. So to make it easy, again what I'm going to do, instead of using the percentage value, I'll use its fractional value. What is the fractional equivalent of 16.66? You already know, it's 1 by 6. 100% ka fractional equivalent kya hota hai? 1. And once you do so, once you do so, 1 plus 1 by 6 is nothing but 7 by 6. So either calculate 116.66% of a number or 116.66 upon 100 of a number or 7 by 6. In both ways, yes, using both ways, we'll get same answer. So if I ask you to choose what factor you are going to 
pick you would say sir any given day i'll pick 7 by 6 because multiplying a number by 7 by 6 is is an easy task comparatively i hope i'm clear on this now uh, and now it's time to discuss the last case and here we'll do last operation let's reduce a number by 16.66% फिर से हम सेम चीज का यूज करेंगे क्योंकि मुझे नंबर को रिड्यूस करना है इस बार तो हम नंबर को रिड्यूस करने के लिए उस गिवन परसेंटेज को 100 से माइनस करते हैं है ना लेकिन क्योंकि फिर से मेरे पास जो परसेंटेज वैल्यू है वो डेसिमल में है सो इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग द परसेंटेज वैल्यू आई विल यूज इट्स फ्रैक्शनल इक्विवेलेंट व्हाट इज द फ्रैक्शनल इक्विवेलेंट ऑफ 16.66 यू वुड से सर इट्स 1 बाय 6 एंड लाइकवाइज द फ्रैक्शनल इक्विवेलेंट ऑफ 100% इज 1 so what is 1 minus 1 by 6? You would say, sir, it's 5 by 6. So what is the multiplication factor? While I'm trying to reduce a number by 16.66, it's 5 by 6. So let me conclude this particular concept for you. So whenever I'm dealing with whole number percentage value, so when I'm dealing with whole numbers, ke deal kar rahun, jaise ki 40%, 20%, 25%, 30%, 15%, तो उस केस में मैं 100 पे ही प्लस और माइनस करूंगा मैं 100 पे ही प्लस और माइनस करूंगा क्यों क्योंकि जो नंबर मैं प्लस एंड माइनस कर रहा हूं वो होल नंबर है लेकिन अगर वही परसेंटेज वैल्यू डेसिमल में उसको रिप्रेजेंट किया गया है अगर वो वैल्यू डेसिमल है तो हम उस केस में फ्रैक्शनल वैल्यू का यूज करेंगे और जब-जब मैं फ्रैक्शनल वैल्यूज का यूज करूंगा तो फ्रैक्शनल के केस में मुझे ध्यान रखना है यहां पे भी मुझे प्लस एंड माइनस ही करना है Please realize this. Here also I am reducing and adding. But the change is कि यहाँ पे हम 100 पे plus और minus नहीं करेंगे. यहाँ पे हम 1 पे plus और minus करेंगे. क्यों? क्योंकि 100% का fractional equivalent क्या होता है? 1. So that's the only change. So when I am dealing with whole number percentage value, I'll add the given. I'll add or subtract the given percentage value to base number 100. But when I'm dealing with their percentage equivalents, I'll do the same operation using 1. 1 plus or 1 minus. I hope this uh, clarifies your all doubts. Now just to make sure whether you have understood this concept or not, I'm going to present two questions in front of you, using which you'll be able to know how to apply these concepts in the questions. So let's start with the first question. A number when increased by 20% becomes 36. Find the number. Let us try to understand what is given in the data. The question says, a number, let's say that number was n. So when this number is increased by 20%, so if I ask you about the operation, what percentage operation we are doing here, you would say, sir, we are increasing a number by 20%. It changed to 36. This number becomes 36 once I increase it by 20%. Now, if you use multiplication factor here, it can be solved in just one line. Let me show you how. Okay. So there is a number. So tell me one thing. If I increase something by 20%, if I increase something by 20%, what is going to be the multiplication factor? You would say, sir, in case of increase, what we do? We add the given percentage value to base value 100. And when you do this operation, the number comes out to be 120%. It means if in order to increase a number by 20%, the multiplication factor is 120%. What is 120%? 120% is same as writing 120 upon 100. So when I multiply this number by 120 by 100, it becomes 36. So find the value of number. Now it's a nothing calculation. Just take this 120 by 100 to the other side. It will get inversed right and then solve it 12 1 12 3 so what was the value of number the value of number must be 30 so that's the answer of my question now focus on the second question a number when increased by 8.33 percent becomes 39 find the number so if i ask you how this question is different from the last one you would say sir the only difference is although everything is same the structure is same language is same the only thing changed is the percentage which I have used in the quotient, it's a decimal percentage value. And in case of decimal percentage, what we do? To write down multiplication factor, I use fractional form. So if I'm increasing something, yes, again there's a number, 
which I'm increasing by 8.33%, right? So instead of using, instead of using its percentage value, I'm going to use the fractional equivalent. What is the fractional equivalent of 8.33%? You would say, sir, it's 1 by 12, something which we have already learned in the first lecture. 1 by 12 and the operation is increase a value by 1 by 12. So in case, in case when we use percentage value, we use base value 100. But when I'm using fractional value, I hope you remember, in case we use fractional value, we'll not use 100, but we'll use 1. So we are going to add this 1 by 12 to 1. What is 1 plus 1 by 12? It's 13 by 12. So what is the multiplication factor? When I'm increasing something by 8.33%, it's 13 by 12. So when I increase a number by 8.33%, it becomes 39. What was the value of number? Would say, so let's again do the same operation. I'll take this 13 by 12 to the other side. And then my answer comes out to be 36. Right. So this is how easy it is when I uh, do these questions using multiplication factor concept. And I hope uh, with these two questions, you were able to understand the utility of this concept and how easy it becomes when I solve these questions uh, using the given concept. So with this, we have come to an end of the session. We'll meet again with another important concept in the next lecture. But for today, that is all. If you have enjoyed the session, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.